preparing for Indian Economic Service Examination in 2025, it is very important to see these two documents. What are these? Is like budget document and economic survey. Now, economic survey generally student consider as the Bible of this examination because whatever comes in economic survey, you can write in an Indian economy paper, which consists of 200 marks. But the questions are not that current based. So here in this video, we will understand how to use budget and economic survey to write better answers in paper four of economic that is Indian economy. Now, if you have written a lot, you have read the newspaper, if you read Indian economy books, then you'll be able to correlate with me what I'm trying to say here. Number one thing is when you see economic survey, always see economic survey in terms of the bifurcation of your syllabus. Your syllabus is divided into 11 points for Indian economy paper. In that Indian economy paper, those 11 points are divided into three sectors. Generally, they are, are taking care of agriculture, manufacturing or services. So divide the whole syllabus in terms of your syllabus. This is the first thing that you have to do. Second thing what people make mistake is they read cover to cover the whole economic survey. Now economic survey is some kind of a research document where they state certain theory, they give aspiration of Indian economy in the upcoming years and they give the past year's performance data. Now these are the three things considered the whole economic survey if I talk about a bird's eye view by looking at the document. But reading cover to cover will just waste your time. So what exactly you need to do? It's not like you, you can read summaries. Summaries are important, but summaries are more factual. So data, how much you need to remember, how much data is important for the exam and how much data you can handle in the examination after recalling and reproducing in the answer copy. So here is the trick. When you see economic survey, all the boxes are important. If you see boxes, these are important because these are some different perspective where you can put as an example into your answer or you can write some data to help your argument while writing answers. Second thing which is very very important here in economic survey is read the aspiration of the Indian economy. If you see the bad bank was the part in the past year's economic survey, the judicial delays were the part of the economic survey. It does not mean that these themes are only for one year. This will take at least 10 years to implement. So the themes are important. If they are carrying forward, then these themes can come up as a question in the examination. The third thing which is very, very vital in economic survey is to see the data. The data you cannot remember monthly, yearly. The, there are in number of graphs, but that data will give you a trend. So always see economics data as a trend. It's not if you see data in isolation, it is difficult to understand as well as difficult to remember and recall. So you see data in terms of trend. Like for example, if I say uh, repo rate is 15% in India, you will laugh at me because you know the range. You know where it lies. Recently, RBI reduced the repo rate after so long and still the RBI governor and monetary policy committee is thinking to reduce that. So if you understand the trend, why they are reducing. If you see another example of budget and it's like correlated with monetary and fiscal policy. In the budget, our honorable finance minister announced that you can take exemption on income tax till 12 lakhs 75,000 rupees. Now this will give extra disposable income to the masses in India. Although after reducing the tax revenue from the government, government incurred tax expenditure. It means the loss in the government's revenue. It's simple. So government will be incurring certain loss in terms of giving extra rebate to the taxpayers. But that extra disposable income, it means now I have to pay less taxes. So I have more money to save or spend. So I will do saving. I will deposit in the bank. Bank will use that as borrowing, lending for the business purposes. And second, if I spend in the economy, that money comes into circulation. So again, the GDP growth of this decision will be four to five times of the amount of loss by the government. Now here, this was good in terms of pushing the demand from fiscal side. Then after that, Monetary Policy Committee announces announced the reduction in the repo rate. So reduction in EMIs, reduction in borrowing. You can see again a push 
to increase the demand in the economy this is how if you read budget and economic survey document you will be able to write well and good answers with proper argument data facts and figures that will help you to qualify this examination i hope you understand everything how to approach this paper especially with the light of budget and economic survey document if you have any questions do comment in the comment section thank you so much